So there are three different categories of creations that we can make in Scratch. Video games, animated movies or animations, and then just art projects. So let's talk about creating a simple game. Let's start adding some commands so that our sprites actually doing something. So when the flag gets clicked, which the flag is sort of a play button, what do we want the cat to do? Let's say we want the cat, instead of just floating in midair, to be standing on the ground. We could move the cat 10 steps. We could turn the cat. We could point in a certain direction. Or we could just go to a specific spot. Let's do that. Now, how do we know where the cat is right now and where we want the cat to go? We can use these X and Y coordinates here. Right now, the cat is at zero, zero. And I can check that by clicking the I for the cat and verify right there, the cat is at X zero, Y zero. And by moving the, my mouse pointer around and watching how these numbers change, I can determine that if I want the cat in the middle of the screen, the very bottom, that would be negative 180. And I can test that out simply by double clicking it. And that is way too low. Uh, one of the great things about Scratch is that it's based in trial and error. I can simply grab the cat and drag him back up, place him where I'd like him to be. And then I can look at this XY, negative 30 is about right. Let's go back to events. Events start off a chain of commands, a list of commands for the cat or for any other character, for any other sprite. In a video game, when a certain key gets pressed is a typical event that we're going to have start off a chain of commands. When the right arrow key gets pressed, we want the cat to move forward 10 steps. Let's test that out. That's not bad, but the cat, his legs aren't moving. Let's go to looks, Let's say hello for two seconds, just say hello nonstop. Think something for two seconds, show or hide. Switch costume. The costumes, there's a special tab for the costumes. They switch like this. So the cat actually has an animation, and by switching the costume, we can animate our cat. So simply choosing next costume would look nice. And when I'm dragging these blocks, I can drop them in between one another like that. So I can put them in the exact order I would like. Let's press the right arrow and see how that looks. Pretty good. Go to events and do the same thing when the left arrow is pressed. And I can just duplicate this by right clicking and then choosing duplicate. Next costume and move 10 steps. When I press left arrow, the cat continues simply moving forward because we haven't told the cat we want him to turn around to face a different direction. So that was in motion. Now we could say turn 180 degrees, or we could say point in a certain direction. Let's say point to the left. Okay, face left, switch your costume, and then move forward 10 steps. Let's test it, and the cat is upside down. The fix for this is at the bottom of the motion menu, and that is set rotation style to be left-right. The other options are don't rotate at all, and that wouldn't look right. The cat would simply be facing to the right the entire game. All around is what the cat is set to right now. We just want the cat to face either left or right. So I could put this so that when the game is started, we set the rotation style to that, or every time he faces left, it doesn't really matter. I'll just say that. Now the cat is facing the correct way. If I hold down the right arrow, uh-oh. If I press the right arrow, he continues going left because just like the left arrow, I need to tell the cat when the right arrow is pressed, face right, switch to the next costume and move 10 steps. Point in the direction right. Looks good. If I hold down the right button, if I hold down the left button, all right.